Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing something I said I wasn't going to do until after Christmas and that's another haul. Yeah, I've been bad. I've got a little bit of supplies, two pieces of supplies and ten colouring books to show you. Two of which were supposed to be in the last haul, but I forgot. Had I not forgotten them, I probably wouldn't be doing this haul today. So I just want to show you what I've bought supplies-wise. So the first thing I bought were these Montmartre Meta Metallic Acrylic Paints. They're just an intro set. They're only 18 mils. As you can see, they're still sealed. I haven't used them. Um, I bought them because sometimes I want some metallics and I hadn't got any in paint. So I thought I'd give them a try. I think they were around £8, £9, something like that. I'm not actually sure. So I might try and use those in one of the books this month. I don't know which one yet. I've got to find the right picture, but sometimes I do something and I think, I want to do that, and I haven't got the right supply, and then I'm like, oh, I can't do it. So there's that. Another thing I bought is I don't have, or I didn't until today, have any fine liners. I don't have the money to spend a lot of money on fine liners, so I bought these. Um, they're Bajo Tien Fine Liner Color Pen. There's a hundred in there. Some of the colours look very, very similar. Um, I have briefly had one out and had a look at it and they do look quite nice. So this is what they look like. So nice thin and here's the tip. So I do not know what these are going to be like. Um, I, they, it's for books that have got a lot of fine detail like some of the, the mandala books and something like Lost Ocean which I know can be very fine. So I might try and do a picture in that or a part of one and um, do it on the back. It does give colour names to all of them, but unfortunately they're not actually on the barrel of the pen, so it's pretty useless really. Um, but I'll just have a piece of paper when I'm colouring and I'll see what I think. So I will be doing a video showing you these and we'll do a video on a budget fine liners. Are they worth it? So these were £15.99 for 100 fine liners from Amazon. I'm looking forward to using those. Now that's all the supplies onto the books. So I didn't haul two of the Colour in Heaven specials that I've got. So we're going to show you those first. So the first one is the Sorcerers and Sorceresses special. If you look in the corner, there's some scribbling on it. Jennifer was having a scribble on it uh, with her crayons. So you've probably all seen this one by now. I'm not going to do a flip through of it uh, completely, but I will show you a few pages. So there are some interesting images in here and I probably will do it at some point. My whole point is that next year I'm going to do a page from every Colour in Heaven magazine I have and if I buy the one from the month or if I get it because I'm hoping to get the subscription for Christmas um, I'll do one from a book I already own and one from uh, the new book. That's the plan. I haven't got the newest book yet but more of that in a minute. Oh! What was that? Oh, never mind. The second one I forgot to haul was the World of Princesses special. Um, Fabiana Tre, I can't pronounce her surname, but uh, yeah, that's the front and uh, that's the back. That's stunning, by the way. Aztec. Um, so yeah, so I haven't done this yet. Oh, I quite like Princess of the Dead. Would have been a good one for Halloween. Medieval Princess. A magical. So they're really, really nice. Indian Princess, Edwardian Prince and Princess, that's quite nice actually. That's beautiful, that one is gorgeous. Other than her costume, she doesn't look Chinese, does she? Uh, that's gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely stunning. It's beautiful artwork in this book. So that's that one. And then of course, the Halloween special which we've seen. Um, I did a flip through this and you'll have seen it in my colouring pages for October. I haven't done the back. Um, I don't tend to do the covers as you see there's some dirt on it and where it's been resting on tables and things and you know I do like most of the artwork in this book. I'm not too keen on the one everybody loves and that's the Day of the Dead photo skulls at the back. I'm just not a grayscale person. I'm not that keen on grayscale at all. I do 
really admire the people who've done these pictures because they do look stunning but it's not my kind of thing and the ones at the front these ones I do like um, but I didn't do one this year um, I was like, thinking what can I do it as and I just didn't, so I might do that, try and do those, some of those next year. And I probably will do the Day of the Dead ones at some point. It's just, I, I just don't like grayscale. I think I must be one of the only few people in the world that doesn't like grayscale. Another one you saw um, a flip through for that I did is Four Friends by Deborah Muller. This is the first Deborah Muller book I've got, I must admit. I'm, I, I don't jump onto the bandwagon like everybody else. I just get them when I see one I like and I probably will buy other books by her but I did like the look of this one I'm going to be colouring in this one in November but like I said I have done a flip through of this and I like the cover page I like that one with the dog they are so cute so I will definitely be colouring in this one the pages are quite thin but I'm going to see how the markers go on them just put some pages in between I haven't decided which one yet but I will shortly so I've got that one now I bought a Relax With Art colouring from adults. This is um, mostly Halloween pictures and I got this the other day when I was just popping into the shop with my mum and I saw it there and I thought I needed, I needed something. I can't remember what I needed. Or she needed something. Anyway, we needed to go in the shop. We were going to the library and I popped in and picked this up. These ones are 2 99 I mean, like, I'm not sure I'd want the transportation one, but... Um, because this was a witchy one I picked it up and there are some nice pictures in here they are quite they can be quite detailed like that one and that one and that one's not too bad they're not all Halloween related that one's quite nice there's a happy Halloween one there this one I might do this one I don't know if you can see it but it says fireworks at the top so I guess it kind of fits in with this time of year because I guess in America you'd be having fireworks for Thanksgiving maybe. I don't know if we do. Over here we have a thing called Bonfire Night which is the 5th of November. It's also called Fireworks Night or Guy Fawkes Night. And basically it's to commemorate um, Guy Fawkes' attempt to blow up Parliament many, many years ago. So I might do that one. There are some really nice ones in there. And I thought, I could, you know, even if I don't do many this year I can put it away and try it next year but that one that was only 2 99 the paper's not brilliant but it's okay something to colour in uh, moving on I'm picking up some <laughs> lovely winter books I picked up Winter Dreamlings by um, Edwina McNamee now I have uh, a couple of her books and I can't remember the first I got the Christmas one and I've got Dreamlings and Dreamlings 2 but I haven't bought many of the others yet so I'm starting to just purchase them now so I thought we're coming up to winter I don't want all I mean there's bound to be Christmassy stuff in here obviously because it's winter but I didn't want just all Christmas stuff and now with this one she has got a title page which she normally does have it just goes straight to the colouring pages um so they are quite Christmassy but they're also wintry as well the owls are cute penguins in a Christmas tree I like that and of course you've got the usual where she does it with a white background and then you get it with the black background so if you don't feel like doing a background you can just do it like that but oh I love the Christmas stocking I'm so going to do that one I have to do that one so there's that one a um, few more to go yet and then I saw on I think it was Lisa's Colouring Corner or something like that. I'm not sure. Kelly Horton's Storybook Darlings. I've watched so many colouring book hauls in the last month, in the last week, that uh, my head is, is pounding with them. But I saw this one and I really liked it. Um, I'm going to have to get some more of these. So what I like about this is they are fairy tale characters done slightly differently so that's like a Mad Hatter from Alice I'm assuming that's a little mermaid type thing like Ursula or something because it's got the little uh, you know uh, mirror mirror on the wall so that's the Wicked Queen from uh, Snow White that's a nice one Belle Pocahontas but I really bought it for this one because I do love The Wizard of Oz. 
it's one of my favourite books and my favourite film is one of one of my favourite films is this one. Now, unlike most people, I'm going to say something that most people are going to hate me for. I am not a big Alice in Wonderland fan. I read the books when I was a kid, I like the story, but I don't go over the top with it. I've got the Jade Summer Cute Alice in Wonderland book and that's it. And I don't feel that I need any more, but with The Wizard of Oz, I could buy books and books and books and books because I love The Wizard of Oz and I do love the way that she's holding them. The only thing that's missing is Toto. But it's going to be nice to colour the Yellow Brick Road and the Emerald City is based on the MGM Emerald City, which I really, really love. So, yeah, they are really lovely, these pictures, so. <sighs> Still tired. Look at that, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, how adorable. I'm going to really enjoy this book. This book is going to get some serious colouring in. I might do a picture of this in November, uh, just for the sake of, just because it's so gorgeous. Now, before I bought all of these, I went into the works a couple of weeks ago, was it? Actually, I think it was just last week. I'm very bad. And um, we'd changed our money back from euros to pounds, and I had some money. We both had about 100 quid when we came back. I had about 160 actually. And so they had two of the, well they had the Kirby Rosanis books, Imagimorphia, Mythmorphia and Animorphia for a fiver each. Now I already have, and I've got to check, Mythomorphia. I already had that one. So I did go and pick up Imagimorphia. And I have no idea when I'm ever going to colour in these because it is so intimidating. But what I might do, and that's not too bad, is just to pick one. But see, and that's not too bad. And, oh, I like the skull, actually. I might do that one. Colour in all the doodly bits. So, for instance, you've got this train and you've got all the doodles coming out. Might, might do all the doodly bits and then do the main part. And I love this one because... I am, um, among my very, very many hobbies, of which if you watch this channel, you know I have many hobbies. One of the things I love to read and learn about is ancient Egypt, uh, particularly the 18th dynasty of which Tutankhamun is. And this is based on the mask of Tutankhamun, or Hamun, however you wish to pronounce it. Um, I have a lot of books on ancient Egypt. I have a lot of expensive books on ancient Egypt. I might do a video on them once. I've still got my Judy ones to do. But I love that. Anything to do with ancient Egypt, I love. And of course, Animorphia. Again, I still think it's very intimidating. But if I was to do, for instance, this page, this page here, I would probably do all the doodly bits first and then do the fox's face last. I'm, I'm never going to do the fill the page with jellyfish. That's not my, that's not my bag. I'm not an artist. I cannot draw. I can barely colour. So, and again, it would be the doodly bits before I coloured in the rest of it. The doodly bits. I like that, the doodly bits. But they are such a beautiful books. So all I really need to get now is Geomorphia and Phantomorphia, uh, which I will get. Oh, and, and if I wanted it, Calamorphia, but that's just the best of. If I've got these, I don't really need that. And what month would be complete without buying a Jade Summer book? Because I have lots of them and I am collecting as many of them as I can. The ones I want, anyway. I won't collect the ones I don't. So I picked up Art Nouveau. I didn't get this when I came out. Now, when they come out, they're 3 99 And then they go up. But this one only went up to 4 99 so... I picked it up because I quite like the fact they've got these lovely ornate borders and I can use my metallic pens on them on the borders if I wanted to look at that I just think these pictures are absolutely stunning all the different Art Nouveau things there's a, a size again a peacock type one I haven't really looked through it, but I did see some pictures of colours on the Jade Summer page. And I thought, I have to have this book. Look at that witch. That is just stunning. A fairy. 
um, yeah, so I picked up that one. So that was the last one I bought. And I bought all these, apart from the two Colour in Heavens that um, I forgot the haul. I bought them all in October, so it was eight books. I haven't yet got the new Colour in Heaven one, so that will go into the next haul. And that is their Christmas special. I'm still thinking about whether or not I should order a nice little Christmas. I want to per I've got so many books. I haven't got as many books as most people. I've got about 150, I want to say. But we'll count them when we do our completed color our complete calorie book collection back in back. Um oh, I'm so tired. In January. I'm gonna leave it till after Christmas because I know I'm more than likely gonna get colouring books for Christmas. Uh, from my mum and dad and from my brother because that's what I've asked for. We're not going out and spending a lot of money this Christmas because having to buy new cars wiped me out so we're just going to be sensible and just buy tokens and I said a couple of colouring books will do me. That's what I need. Um, so yeah that is it. I am going off to bed now because it is getting on for probably half past ten. I'm going to take Deborah Mauler's uh, four friends up with me and decide what to colour in there. The rest of them probably just going to go, I'll keep Storybook Darling Sony as well, but the rest of them are probably just going to go back upstairs onto, well back upstairs, they haven't been up there yet, are going to go up onto my shelf of uncoloured books, which is actually still full. I need more colouring space, storage space, so. But yes, I really like this book. Hope you've enjoyed this waffly video showing you what I've bought, and of course I will do a video uh, showing what these fine liners are like, if I can find them, here they are, in the next week or so, as well as I've got to do the W. H. Smith pencil one as well. Yeah. But yes, hope you've enjoyed that. I will see you all again very soon. If you have enjoyed this very long waffly rambly video, give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments down below on which book do you want to see me colour in. Let me know. Let me know what you want to see me colour in and I will colour in that one, even if it is one of the Morphia books, which I, terrify me, but I had to have them because they were only a fiver. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you soon. Bye guys.